Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Make America Lit, back with another NBA 2K24 video. And in today's video, I'm actually starting a new series on the channel called No Money Spent. Now, as you guys might know, I had a No Money Spent guide that I did last year for NBA 2K23. And, you know, I don't think a lot of people watched it because it was such a long video. It's like a 40 to an hour long video video just you know a detailed guide on you know basically how to grind out your build and ways that you could get around spinning vc um uh, this time around i'm going to break the video up and do smaller videos and break it into episodes that way it's easier for you guys to digest and watch you know it's much easier to sit down and watch a seven to eight minute video than it is to sit down and watch an hour long video with somebody just rattling off information 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 to you guys so i hope that you guys do watch the video hopefully it helps you guys with grinding out your build you know um i know a lot of people don't really want to buy vc you know whether you are you know an elementary high school you know a kid young teen who don't have a job and you don't you know you can't afford the vc or you're an adult and you know you got bills and kids and shit to take care of and you don't really want to waste money on vc and stuff or maybe you just bought the game and you felt like you spent 70 dollars on a game you shouldn't have to spend another 100 dollars to you know play the game or have access to the game whatever the reason is that you're here it's because you don't want to waste your hard-earned money on vc you know and i totally understand that so hopefully this guide uh is going to help you guys with you know grinding out your build and getting your build ready so you can play online because it's not fun having a low overall build and not being able to play online and that's the whole reason why we bought the game because we want to play online right like so with that being said let's get into episode one which is going to be how to get vc now obviously <clears throat> excuse me obviously the easiest and quickest method to get in vc is playing my career uh playing key games and also you know right here as you see right here key games will give you uh bonus vc and my points or whatever uh you know as you can see by my stats i played a, a little bit of my career on this build uh not too much but just enough to you know get my build up to where i can play online um playing the key games you know you can play regular games as well too but they're not going to give you that bonus vc right here is the, the key games you see highlighted in yellow will give you extra vc and my points as well too and then another thing that's going to help you get vc also is the endorsements now obviously endorsements are kind of nerfed compared to last year because you were able to get the endorsements um not just multiple times but you are also able to get incentives that if you did this during a game you would get bonus vc and this worked across all modes uh whether you played rec whether you play park whether you play nba games you were getting those bonus incentives whether it would be to hit two threes or to get a poster dunk or whatever you was getting that bonus vc in all modes okay um now incentive uh excuse me i said incentives endorsements are kind of nerfed this year but there's still a decent way to get you know some vc of course these are only one-time payments so that's why i really wouldn't focus too much on endorsements but as you play nba games or career games you will eventually knock out these endorsements and be able to sign them which is just you know just bonus you know vc it wouldn't hurt to get you know a bonus you know eight thousand or nine thousand or however much this adds up to probably not much probably still less than ten thousand but it's something you know to you know alleviate the grind and help you know um also another thing that you guys can do that's going to help you guys with uh getting uh vc is the quest now here i'm going to show you guys um the, these badge perks right here uh, when you do the quest to unlock these, I believe you got to just get like, uh, the first one is like earn a badge or earn like multiple bronze badges. You got to have like three or four or five badges or something like that. And you get that one. It's like a gimme. Then you got to earn like two badge or you have to have two badges silver at the same time, which will unlock another one of these. And then I think one is to get a gold badge or two gold badges or something like that. And when you unlock that, you will unlock one of these either immunity or overdrive. Now, once you have the original uh, C tier badges unlocked for these, uh, all you got to do is play a game with one of these equipped. 
uh, play like a bunch of NBA games with a C-tier equipped and immunity and overdrive and drill savant. And you will eventually unlock the B-tier. And then, again, same thing, uh, equip a B-tier and then you'll unlock A-tier. Play games with A-tier equip and you'll unlock S-tier. Now, the reason why I'm telling you guys that is because when you do these and you unlock each one, each challenge will give you 750 VC. That's that's where these will be situated at, which is, uh, well, the badge perk ones. But I've completed all of these, so you don't see that anymore. But the quests are a good way to earn VC. You get 750 VC per quest. Um, and you see some of these are like to earn, uh, you know, you know, wins earn a a minus grade in rec or in park or in the nba and as you do these and you unlock the multipliers and stuff not only do they help your build you know uh but they also you know give you vc and that vc it, it doesn't seem like much but 750 750 that's 1500 those adds up over time as you keep knocking these out um you also have to keep in mind, you do have these daily and weekly quests, which gives even more VC. The daily only gives 750, but you get a daily for NBA, you get a daily for Park, you get a daily for Pro-Am, and you get a daily for Rec. And then the weekly gives you 3,000 VC, which is nice because that actually adds up pretty quickly. So if you do a 3,000 for, you know, Rec, and then you do a 3,000 for Park, that's 6,000. And then you do another 3,000 for uh, NBA career games, that's 9,000 VC. Now, keep in mind, you probably won't be playing Park and wrecking stuff because your bill will be low but even just doing the nba weekly for 3000 will go a long way as you're ranking up these other ones and getting 750 750 it goes a long way and you can do some of these quests or challenges on multiple builds as well too so that adds up now another thing that i would recommend for you guys to do that's going to help uh with uh grinding out your build is street ball street ball is a really quick way to you know gain vc and it's a quick way to uh, grind out your badges as well too while you're grinding your build out uh there's three different street ball courts um if i pull up the menu you have a street ball court over here which is the point i believe you have a street ball court over here which is sunset and then you have a street ball court uh somewhere around this area that is the yard i believe i don't know i don't see a mark over here but it's somewhere over here near this train station uh and it's called the yard and uh basically you'll play street ball games against like uh these npcs or whatever and you know they're you know there's this short little cutscene. you beat them and you know you get vc and then you get to recruit them to your team and you get to play with them um i'm just going to show you guys um there's also a daily quest for the street ball so there's like a daily challenge and every uh you'll come to this board and every day uh the daily uh challenger will reset so right now you got sga right here where you can face him and his team and when you beat him you'll get 750 vc for beating him and this will change every day you know you'll have joel and bead i've seen Giannis. i've seen dame um who else have i seen i've seen uh demar derozan i've seen kevin durant so whoever this will be it will change to a different nba star superstar every day you know you might see luca one day you might see dame one day you might see joel or Jokic. you might see Giannis. It, it really all depends but it could be anybody you might see james harden you never really know who's going to pop up here and it's still rather easy, even though you see that his team is kind of trash. It's at 80 overall and a 79 overall. And if you do the challenges, you will have uh, these guys here. You know, you see he's 90 overalls or whatever, which is better than the dudes you start out with who are 60 overalls and are absolute trash. Uh, as you beat those players, it'll make it easier for beating these uh, daily quests too as well. Uh, so yeah, Street Bowl is another good way to earn VC. Um, there's also uh, some challenges that you're going to get, uh, you know, periodically. That's going to be the Chris Brickley uh, gym. And, you know, when you do the Chris Brickley challenge, basically you're just going to come in and depending on what day it is, if it's during the week, you'll get 3v3 games. And if it's during the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you will get 5v5 games. And essentially when you do that, um, you know, you will go to the gym. Which I believe is right around the corner, actually. So we can actually go to that gym right now, actually. I believe it's right around this way. But basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Chris Brickley's uh, gym. And 
you know, this right here is where his gym is at, which is Chris Chris Brickley's gym. I probably won't go to the art of shooting one. But you'll go here, you'll run either a 5v5 game or a 3v3 game, and you'll get 750 VC for it. And you get to do this every single day. And you can do this across three different uh, builds. I've done this. This is my second build. I've done it on this build. I've done it on my first PG build. And I've done it on my center build. After that third build, I don't see the quest pop up anymore. So I don't know if there's a limit. There might be. There might not be. But just keep in mind, if you do this, and then there's the Art of Shooting Facility uh, quest that gives you 750, uh, where you earn your hot spots. You don't even have to win these. You can literally go in, sell, let them beat you 21-0, and then you can go to the Art of Shooting facility and just brick every single shot. You don't even have to win. And, you know, you can just straight up just, you know, brick it or whatever, and you will get your 750, um, you know, VC or whatever, you know. And I know that doesn't sound like much, but if you do that on three builds, that adds up to around 4,500 VC for about 20 to 30 minutes worth of, you know, drills, you know, and these are drills that you don't even have to win at, you know, because you're still grinding out your build. You're not going to be playing online. You're not going to really need hot spots or, you know, anything like that. So, you know, you can go in there, do these uh, drills or whatever, brick them, screw them up, whatever, get your VC, get out, go on the second build, get your VC, get out and go on your third build and get your VC and get out. And, you know, it's just a really quick way of getting VC without uh, really having to play extra games. And keep in mind, you could do this in between um, you grinding games. You know, you don't have to just, you know, just do this. You could be playing NBA games, play a couple games, come out, do your drills, go back in, you know, switch your build, you know, do your drills, go back in, play some more games, uh, and switch it up. You know, you don't have to just sit there and just grind my career tirelessly because I do know that after a certain point it does get boring when I was grinding NBA games I got bored of it very very fast um another thing that you can do um as far as getting VC is uh knocking out the affiliation challenges now um you know when you first start off you're gonna have to choose what affiliation you want to join if you want to join elite you come over here and talk to this dude or whatever and if you want to join uh rise you come over here and talk to Shakedown, and you'll have to do challenges to unlock the affiliation. Uh, when you do uh, Rise, I think it's you got to get 50 assists in like uh, 10 B grades or 20 B grades. I'm not really sure. I didn't join Rise, as you can see by my nameplate. I joined Elite, and then to join Elite, you have to go into the Elite part, and you have to win 10 games and drop 100 points. Now, keep in mind, in order to do these challenges, you have to do them in their respective parks. So, if you want to join Rise, you have to overdo over here and uh, play in a Rise court. And if you want to join Elite, you have to play in the Elite court, okay? Now, once you do that, you will unlock uh, your affiliation, and then you can come over here and choose to spin. And right here, you just see somebody won double uh, rep for an hour. Now, you can come here and get your spins, your daily spins, and you see right here, I got 13 more hours until I can get my spin. Uh, right there, you see this dude just won 500 VC, which is kind of cool. You could come here, get your daily spin, and possibly win 500 VC, 1,000 VC. Uh, I think the most I've won is 1,250 VC, but it really all depends. You can win more than that. You can win less than that. It just It's just random. 500, 750, 1,000. I've seen people win 5,000, 10,000. I've seen people posting videos of them winning 100,000 or even 250,000 VC. It's all really random. And do keep in mind as you elevate your, you know, rep or whatever, I'm going to show you guys right here. I'm only starting one because I kind of started late. I was grinding out content and stuff, making videos for YouTube. So I kind of started out a little late. But as you get up and you raise your, you know, rep level, when you get to start at three, you'll see that it says unlock improved pricing in your daily rewards, which means that when you get your daily spin, you will get better rewards. So right there, you see somebody just won a thousand VC. Now, also, another thing that you guys can do is get your old gen spin. So, if you're like me and you have both versions, you have the PS4 version and the PS5 version of NBA 2K, uh, what I did was I made a random throwaway build. It's still 60 overall. I didn't put no VC into it. I didn't do anything to it. It's just a blank 60 overall random build. What you do is you uh, get on the game, get on, um, you know, uh, the PS4 version, load this up, 
get on there and go get your spin and you can win vc on ogen and the vc from ps4 transfers to the ps5 version as well too so i just get on there every day and just get my spin i haven't played the single game on ps4 yet i just get on and just get my spin i've won 5,000 vc i've won a thousand i've won 500 sometimes you win clothes and stuff like that but also you can win you know vc as well too so i like to do that as well too just to get you know a chance at some extra vc now the last thing i'm gonna leave you guys with is you know for getting vc is playing other modes okay playing other modes you can play play now you can play my league you can play blacktop me personally every year i always have at least one my league file as a dallas mavericks fan i like to just you know create a my league with the dallas mavericks take over the team and you know make trades try to bring in star players and try to get as many championships as i can in my league this is just something i do when i'm bored and i'm not playing you know my career or rec i'm not playing pro-am or you know, I'm not playing something to some other game. I just want to get on and just, you know, play some 2K and I don't want to really play online. I'll just load up my league and play those games. I'll simulate like the first two quarters and just play the third and fourth quarter. Um, okay, I just got disconnected. That's weird. But I'll do that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, just play play now. I'll play my league. Um, another thing that people used to do in the older 2Ks, I'm not really sure if people are still doing this um you know if you don't want to play my league because like i said i get around 300 to 350 vc per game of my league because i'm playing on 12 minute quarters and i play the third and fourth quarter or sometimes i'll just play the fourth quarter but what you also can do is play blacktop i know some people who used to uh use the steph curry method so what they would do is they would go to blacktop right go to one one-on-one -on -one. they would select their team you know and Hold up. They would select their team and then they would pick like Steph Curry. They would go to the roster. They'll pick um Steph Curry. And then they'll pick like some like some trash player. Like they'll go down the list, find somebody who's trash. Don't even know who that is, Chris Livingston. They'll pick him and then they'll select Steph Curry or whatever. And they'll just literally just shoot all day. Alright, so I don't know why they got me on that guy. I was not trying to play I was not trying to play as him. And then what people would do is they would just let this guy just go past. And then they would just, as soon as they get the ball, they would just shoot with Steph Curry. And literally, obviously, I don't have this. This is on, like, I don't, I don't know what difficulty this is on. It might be Superstar. It might be Hall of Fame. I'm not sure if I can even change. Can I change the difficulty? All right, so it's on All-Star. Now, some people will put this on Rookie or Pro, and they would just shoot with Steph Curry. Now, I don't know Steph Curry jump shot. I'm, I'm also recording this through OBS, so, like, the timing is going to be a little delayed. It's going to be crazy. I'm going to be missing. But this is what people would do. They would literally just load this up and just shoot with Steph Curry. That's it. As soon as he hand them the ball or whatever, just shoot that. It don't even matter. Like, and it would go in. See, so I got, I got a little timing on that one because it's a little delayed for me because I'm recording this through OBS Studio. I'm not on the actual game. So because of that, I got to like, you know, like a little second delay. So I guess I got to release, let it go early. But this is what people would do. Just let him score. Just throw the ball up. Hit your shot. And then just let them score. Don't even play defense. And they would get to 21 really quickly, and they were getting around 500 VC per game. So you do this, you'll get VC very, very quickly. Now, I'm not sure if it still works or if people still do this or not, um, but this was a way to earn VC quickly. Me, personally, I like to just play my league because it's something I enjoy playing. And I would do it regardless of whether I'm, um, you know, playing, um, getting VC or not. I would still be playing my league, so... But this is just something else that you could do if you want to play shorter, quicker games. And you can change uh, what the game goes up to. So you could change the score to be uh, game 11. You could change it to be game 16. You could change it to be game, uh, I think, like 40 or whatever. So it's truthfully up to you what you decide uh, the game to go up to. But these are just methods that I personally used while I was grinding out my builds with no money spent. Hopefully these tips and methods help you guys to grind out your build and get your build up so you can then go online. I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.